So my phone informed me that I did not have enough storage space. So I'm filming the full scale orchid brush painting in a separate video. Uh, next time they should just run right into each other. Uh, remember I'm using Noodler's Kung Te Ching. Here is a Chinese bamboo brush pen, uh, brush. So a Chinese bamboo brush. And I have my flower petal palette which I'm just using my main ink in the center. And then from there, I am um, gonna be watering it down. So we're gonna jump into the orchid. We're gonna follow that standard pattern where we have our first one that's going to go up and out. And I'm gonna use the variation of line I apologize that my hand is in the way. Next one, I'm going to come over and I'm varying my pressure to change that line. My last one. So this creates what they call, some books refer to it as a phoenix eye. Another one referred to it as the elephant eye. We're going to come out and up. Okay, so that's the basic leaf structure for the orchid. And you can do this coming off of this side, off of the side here. You can even have it hanging off of a rock face. There's two supporting. And you could play around with the direction that they point in there. And then the next step is simply putting in your um, orchids themselves. So I'm gonna mix, let me bring this here so you can see, getting some water. And this ink you don't want to leave on your brush for an extended period of time. Once we're done, we're gonna have to make sure we wash our brushes off. So I'm getting a lighter watery mix. With the orchid, it's gonna have five petals. It seems very common that two of the uh, petals are gonna touch. I'm going to work from the outside of the petal in. If you utilize, um, this is great for using the internet for different resources to see what is um, available, um, what drawings are out there. If you have a book, they'll have different examples for you to practice. So with that being said, let's come right in here. And you can see how watered down that is. Okay. I'm gonna give myself a second one. All right, now I'm gonna bring those stems back into it. I could change back to a uh, Kind of my darker ink for this. Then from here, since I still have it kind of a wet, I did a watery mix. I'm going to give it a moment to dry before I put in the uh, the little stamens. So let me pause that for a moment. Okay, gave it a moment to dry. Now I'm going to grab some more concentrated ink. for those guys right there. And that's the basics of creating the orchid. Uh, from here, you could have overlapping orchids, maybe make one smaller, have one in the foreground, midground, and background climbing up a rock face. You can use the side of the brush for a ground texture. In fact, let me get some 
water off of there. Let's use this as a dry brush effect to create a ground, a rock face that this is protruding from. So very simple, very rewarding. There's probably countless ways you can go about doing these. And at the end of the day, I mean, we could add even a little bit more if we want it here to play around with that. You have a lot of options and it's just a great, fun, relaxing, beautiful approach. So if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, if you'd like to support this channel, down below I have a link to my Patreon account. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, simply liking and subscribing is very helpful for this channel as well. I also have an Etsy store if there's anything you ever want to purchase. Now, I am going to sign this painting, but I'm going to use a Noodlish fountain pen and the Kung Te Ching. So we'll see what it looks like underneath the mat, and then we will call it. And of course, anything I do on this channel, you are more than welcome to follow along with and put your name on it. I would love to see y'all's results. And I also want to see you guys succeed. If somebody wants to buy one of your paintings that you do from one of these tutorials, anything on my channel, you are more than welcome to sell it. You have my express permission. So let me do a quick dry off and I'll show with the mat. Okay, here's the results with the mat over it. Um, very simplistic, very, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it came out quite beautiful. And the ink itself is very beautiful. Uh, on a separate one that I had done, this is maybe at most 20 minutes ago, there's no smudging taking place. So, you know, just check before you use that ink or if you decide to sell anything like that, just to make sure you're not having uh, smudging. Well, I'll talk to you all soon. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what inks you'd like to see this done with. Um, or anything else that you'd like uh, to see me demonstrate. Have a good day.